it's uh, it's the 20 inch or stone and I've pre-wrapped uh, 0.15 lead wire on a 200 R hook with a tungsten head um, so once I've gotten to this point the first step is to secure my biots for the tails and when I'm securing these biots what I want to do is want to make them there's a cur slight curve to um, each biot and I want them curving away from each other uh, when I tie them in that way they kind of fork out to one side and the other and once I get there I'm just going to tie them in on the side and what I can do is I can once I've secured two or so wraps I can adjust the thread torque to make them lay in there uh, straight and uh, to the desired length. Uh, I don't want a real long tail um, just uh, about what I have shown there should be plenty so we'll go there put a little thread torque on it and it makes them uh, stand up like so what I'm going to do here is I take uh, I've got my clump of peacock curl that I'm going to wrap the body with and I have this flat um, this flat Lagerton wire uh, that lays down real flat it's great to use for print snaps and uh, certainly 20 inches so what I'm doing here now I'm just going to take all of these secure them on my side of the hook and I'm going to wrap right to where my tails join the thread and then I'm going to cover that up and for the time being I'll just get that out of the way make that focus and now this is a little trick I've learned to build the taper we, uh, it's it's sometimes difficult to build a taper on a fly just using the peacock curl so what I like to do is put uh, an underbody taper down and instead of sitting here all day with uh, with my thread building that taper what I've found to do is just use um, some super fine super fine dry fly dubbing which wraps real tight and stays nice to use doesn't matter what color it is if I had to say one color something dark and it works as a great underbody material for larger nymphs that are wrapped with peacock so once I've got my dubbing on slide that up and you can see I'm just building a nice even taper there Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take my peacock and I'm going to spin that forward. And you can see how that taper now starts to form. Okay, I'm going to come right to about there. Capture the peacock. Trim the extra peacock off. And now I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to counter wrap. So I'm going to go this way. And just try to keep my spacing nice and even. Like so. Grab that. And cut that out. Now my next step is to take my wing case which I use um, a cinnamon colored turkey quill for this fly right there and what I'll do 
if I have too much I'll just pull one or two off just so it's about the thickness of the top of the fly so that looks about right and when I tie this I want to I want there's one side that's a little shinier one side that's a little duller and I want when I pull it over I'm gonna want that shinier more vibrant side up top so what I do is I just lay this in now when I tie it in I don't want him to smush Dan I want it to fan around like so and that way when I pull it over the top it makes it a lot easier so I'm not using real tight thread wraps yet okay come back to right about there looks about right and I'm going to cover that up now I've pre uh, cut a hand feather you can use partridge um, I've used both I like this little darker one a little model brown hen and what I'll do is, once I've come here, I will tie in the tip right here, like so. Now once I've tied in my hand feather, I'm just going to continually twist on um, some hair's mask dubbing, uh, a little bit lighter. And that's what I'm going to build uh, the top of this fly with. And I don't necessarily want it to be super tight. Uh, I want some loose fibers hanging off of that. And then I'll go ahead and put in a little bit more right behind the head. If I run a little short, so I'm just going to reapply a little bit more dub. And this is the natural fur. Uh, it comes in some packaging. You could use just a regular hair's mask and pull it off, but I'm one who likes to have things pre-made and ready to roll, so that's why I use this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull first my hen over the top, and I'm just going to splay those back nice and even. And some of these extra ones that we know we're not going to use We'll just go ahead and pull those off. Okay. Now for the rest of these, what I'll do is my first wrap, if you want to see that, how I have that set up, my first wrap is going to be nice and loose. Okay. I'm just trying to just put it in place. Okay. Let's even try to grab that. Okay, and I just want to make sure it's straight over the top. And if it's not, I can pull it so it's centered right over the top of the fly. And then from there, I'm just going to cinch down. And then cut out the extra bit. And splay those out. And then what I'm going to do is take my turkey straight over the top. I'll go ahead and show you that. You want it just right over the top like that. And I'm going to secure that. Again, this first lap, I don't want to spin it with this first wrap. I want them to stay nice and spread out evenly over the top. See how that stays even? If I put that too tight, they'd crinkle down and I wouldn't get as much coverage over the top of the fly. So we'll secure that now. Wrap in front. Cut out the extra. Looks about right. Put a nice thread wrap down. Legs look good, and now I'm just going to prepare to whip finish.